Hi everyone, I'm Kiki. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to take us all along on a little Fendi shopping trip. As some of you may or may not know, I don't often shop at Fendi, but since it has been, I think, over half a year since I've been in, I wanted to take a look at what new items they have, any new bags, anything that might pique my interest, and just to have a little kind of fun eye candy trip. So if you're interested in any of the items that I've shown in this vlog, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Let's go! Do, 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 do. Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do, do. Ding ding. The Fendi that I went to is inside Holt Renfrew, which is a department store, and they had this pop up from Playground, which is a cafe, I believe, in over the Ossington area. Um, and so I decided to have a drink or at least try it out since they had four drinks up here and I was so thirsty by this point. I got the strawberry Yakult drink. I might not be pronouncing this right, but it's basically like a strawberry fizzy yogurt drink, if that makes any sense. It sounds kind of gross now that I'm saying it out like loud like that, but it was actually really refreshing and really nice. The half moon kind of crescent shaped bag is such a thing now and I have to admit after being kind of flooded with seeing different bags and brands make this kind of shape I'm kind of tempted to what makes you guys want to get like a crescent bag from one brand over another though the price point the brand loyalty hmm This trip to Fendi has got to be the most tempting trip that I've ever done yet because look at that brown, oh my gosh. If you guys don't know, I absolutely love warm toned kind of caramelly browns and just neutrals in general and Fendi was definitely serving neutrals. I'm not sure how new this is, but I believe this is the By The Way Mini, which is Fendi's take on the Boston bag. It's a mini bag, and I actually really, really like this design. The acrylic handles give it just that something different, as well as the FF kind of monogram on the base of the handles, I think is really fun, and it gives that kind of Italian-ish Fendi vibe to it. I really really love this shearling version as well as the black version but this nude um, pinkish peach one is also a really nice look. If I were to get one it would definitely probably be the black or the shearling out of these three though. What do you guys think of this bag? These are the new Montresor bucket bags and they have the Fendi motif in a kind of three-dimensional texture. And of course, if we're talking about Fendi, you can't miss out on the peekaboos. I really love the chocolate one here as well as the caramel one on the bottom. For those of you that already have a Fendi peekaboo, how would you rate the quality, especially the quality to price ratio or comparison. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know what it is about this shade of kind of a caramelly, warm, light, or mid-tone brown, but I really, really like this By The Way Mini, and I really like the shape of this bag in general. It really reminds me, of course, of the Louis Vuitton Speedy. I guess size-wise, this would kind of be about the size of a Nano, but between the Nano and the Speedy 20, I would say. What do you guys think about this bag? Is it something you guys would think of? If I was in the market for a mini bag, I would definitely think that this one would be a pretty strong contender. Mm -hmm. 
The feel of the D-links on both sides of the handle felt really good quality and I like the FF monogram at the base of the handle as well. The leather felt really soft and supple and I like the Fendi monogram printed or embossed into the side of it. It is again 2,100 Canadian dollars or 1,750 US dollars. So I guess this would make um, the bag a entry level bag, kind of comparable to the Nano Speedy or Speedy 20, but again, a lot more accessible because as you can see, you could grab it from the store as is and you don't have to like wait in line. Overall, I'm super tempted by this mini bag. I think that it is priced pretty well for what it is and it's super cute. What do you guys think? A another bag that immediately caught my eye was of course in this kind of lighter tannish caramel tone again. This is another shade that I really, really love. It is so beautiful and luxurious looking. It kind of reminds me of like milk tea. And I don't know, I've never really been that drawn to the Fendi baguette, but if there were a baguette to get, I think this one would be it for me. What do you guys think? The Nappa leather felt really plush and soft and squishy and overall it was just a really nice luxurious feeling bag. It was 4,500 Canadian dollars. For those of you that own a Fendi baguette, do you guys think the style is here to stay? I personally think it's going to be a staple, kind of like the Chanel classic flap. It's not quite the classic flap of Fendi since I guess they do have the peekaboo, but I think it's pretty much up there um, amongst Fendi's classic styles. So this is Fendi's mini sunshine shopper, which I believe is their smallest size in their sunshine series. I actually like it in both versions with the Fendi logo simply emblazoned in the front as well as in the FF monogram. And personally, I actually think this is a lot nicer than Louis Vuitton's version because it has feet and just the quality of the leather, the fact that it's a full leather bag and the handles are a little bit different, that tortoise shell acrylic handle with the golden kind of detailing at the bottom, I thought was just a really nice touch. It makes it stand out a bit from the rest of the bags that are in a similar silhouette. What do you guys think of the style? I also noticed that Fendi seems to have a lot of new bags in this kind of price range, more in that kind of um, entry slash entry to mid price point. And I'm wondering if that's because they did so many price increases, especially for like their peekaboos, baguettes, etc., that they need something to fill in that kind of entry level price point. What do you guys think? This shade really reminds me of the Hermes Etope and I really like it. And of course the Fendi First, definitely a bag that I've always wanted to get but don't really know how it would fit in my wardrobe but I think it's such a chic bag to be worn as a clutch or obviously with the strap out as well. What do you guys think? All right, so that's it for this shopping vlog. I'm so happy you guys joined me today. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Jane. Ding, ding. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.